Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy and welcome to round three of Mad Madness. In this tournament it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an AFC matchup today in Lincoln Financial in Philadelphia. Land of the Eagles. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. Without further ado, it's the Jets, it's the Raiders, it's Mad Madness, and it's time to get going. Alright, Jets are going to kick it away to start off round three. Which means that they will get ball to start the second half. The ball's in the air, and we are officially underway. Richard catches it and takes a knee in the end zone for a touchback. And out comes Derek Carr. He's done. Oh, he's done all right. No touchdown. I mean, no interceptions, but no touchdowns either. He's going to need to do a little bit better if the Raiders want to come out of here with a win. So out come the Raiders for the first play of the game. Running formation for the offense. Round in motion. Carr. And it's incomplete. First throw is over the head of his receiver. And so second and ten coming up. And so the Raiders beat the Broncos 10-3 and the Chiefs 14-7 to get here. Their defense has been really good, but their offense has struggled scoring only one touchdown per game on offense. To win, their offense must show up because the Jets' defense has been really good thus far, not giving up a touchdown thus far in Mad Madness. So we'll see if Oakland can be the first team to break through here as they come out for another running formation. And they give it to Lynch. And Lynch is going to get three, and that's going to set up a third and long. Probably about a third and seven. And the Jets beat the Dolphins 10-3. to And they beat the Bills 21-3 to to get here. Defense has been lights out, giving up three points in each game. But the offense has been kind of bipolar. Ten points in one game, 21 in the next. To win, the Jets will need to show up offensively because... If they have the same game on offense that they had against the Dolphins, they'll probably lose this game. So third and seven now. Carr in the shotgun. Carr. Surveys. He's got all the time. Even more time. And he's taken down for a sack. Loss of seven on the play, and that's not how the Raiders want to end their first drive. And that was all Carr's fault. He should have rolled to his left and bought some more time. De definitely a coverage sack. So the Jets' defense has picked up where it's left off, forcing Oakland to punt. Marquette King kicks it away from the 20 and it's caught at the other 20 by Natson, who gets about eight yards on the return as he's taken down at the 28. And here comes Bryce Petty. I must remind you guys that every quarterback is at least an 80 rating or above. So Petty comes out. He's got two touchdowns, one pick. Pretty solid. But their running game has been really dominant too. Bilal Powell got two touchdowns in their last matchup against the Bills. Petty throws and hits Stewart over the middle, who falls instantly as soon as he catches it. They're going to call it a gain of six on first down. 
And so far, the Jets are doing better than Oakland. So, second and four. Here come the Jets. Showing run. Raiders showing blitz. And they will blitz. Powell gets the handoff. And he'll take about two yards on the pickup as they set up a third and short. And here's the Jets offense. Matt Forte, Powell in the backfield, Robbie Anderson, Jermaine Curse. So this might be the best Jets team since um, they almost made the playoffs a couple years ago with Ryan Fitzpatrick, who's now a Buccaneer. Petty fakes the handoff. He's got time. Lots of time in the pocket. Petty throws. And Stewart has it for a second, but ultimately drops it incomplete. So they fail to convert on third down. So Oakland will get the ball back after their defense performed pretty well on that for uh, inaugural series. Edwards will punt it. And the ball's going to be perfectly placed. They're going to call that out at the two. And what a kick. And those are the ones that make you feel like things are just going your way. So Oakland's got to come out here now, standing in their own end zone. They gotta try and avoid the safety here. So out comes the Raiders in the eye. Carr fakes the handoff. He's gonna throw out of his end zone. He does. Hits Smith and Smith piles his way forward. They're going to say it's a gain of nine or so. Second and one, and now Oakland has some space to work with. And that's kind of a deflating feeling for the defense. Give up nine yards when you're that close to getting safety, especially on first down. We'll see if the Jets can recover here after giving up nine. As the Raiders come out four wide. Carr in the backfield. Carr fakes the handoff and throws to Crabtree. He's got the first and an extra yard or two. So Oakland gets the first first down of the game. And it's just a simple wide receiver screen. Pretty good job by the Jets for only giving up a couple on that play. And three wide for the Raiders as Carr hands it to Lynch up the gut, who's got a huge hole and almost breaks it out, but he'll just settle for the first down instead. So the running game's starting to get into rhythm here early in this one, just two minutes left in the first. And look at this hole. Good move by Lynch to dodge. He almost broke it for a t that would have gone all the way. But instead he can't get past that final guy, so from their own 28, the Raiders will break huddle. Car. Throws and it's incomplete. Good defense by the Jets, and that sets up second and ten.
Four wide for the Raiders. Carr alone in the backfield. Five wide. It's Carr. It's Patterson. And it's a gain of about four. Third and six. Now for the Raiders. They have not converted yet on third down. Missing their first attempt on their previous drive. Let's see if they can make it 50% here. And depending on how things go, this could be the final play of the quarter. Running formation for the offense. Carr will throw instead. And he's got Smith over the middle who's got the first. So that's their first third down conversion of the game. And he was just left wide open. That was kind of a bad call by the defensive coordinator. Or maybe it was just bad execution. Maybe he dropped too far in his zone. And they will have to run one more play. They're going to have a bunch set to Carr's left. And Carr's going to hurry the snap up. Hey, Roberts over the middle. And Roberts has seven. So Oakland's methodically moving down, down the field here. Just about at midfield after starting from their own two. And still scoreless here. End of the first. Raiders driving. Alright, we're back now. Start of the second quarter. Oakland's got a second and two here, and the playbook's wide open here at midfield. Play action pass deep down the field, or maybe just try and settle for the two. See if the Jets can guess right as Oakland breaks huddle. Three wide, Carr in the backfield. Carr. Pump fakes. Rolls to his right and falls over his man. Gets up. And he's ultimately taken down. Loss of seven again. So Carr got himself into, into two really bad sacks so far to start off this game. And Del Rio's got to be really frustrated, as well as any Oakland fan. And just really good coverage down the field. So maybe it's better that he took the sack instead of throwing a pick. So second and short becomes third and long. And he just got sandwiched. So third and nine now. Raiders are one for two so far, trying to make it two for three. Car. Surveys. And he has Roberts, but Roberts drops it. So that'll set up fourth and nine. So the Jets give up some yardage, but no points. Ultimately not letting the Raiders onto their side of the field. Marquette King will punt. And that one will sail into the end zone. And the ball will come out to the 20. And here come the Jets. Weren't really able to do much on their last drive. Having to punt it after a three and out. We'll see if they can figure something out here as they've had more time to look at Oakland's defense. So Petty under center, running formation for the offense. It's Petty going to throw instead. And he misses his man wide right. Second and ten coming up. And 
so far this game is turning into kind of a defensive slugfest. Not a huge surprise considering both defenses have been playing really well so far in this tournament. Four wide for the Jets. Just under six to play in the first half. And Powell gets a tiny little hole, which only turns into a gain of two. I got excited for a second. I thought he was going to break something, but a Raider came out of nowhere to meet, meet him head on. Third and eight now for the Jets. They've been okay so far in Mad Madness. Eight for 14, but today they've kind of struggled over one. Let's see if they can break the pattern. Petty's going to throw a screen, and it's going to fall incomplete. So they don't get the first down. They don't even get the completion. Fourth and eight, and the Jets will punt. So extra competitive defensive affair so far in this one. Edwards boots it away. Caught at the 18 or 19 by Richard. He's going to run it up to the 25. So with about five minutes left in the first half, here comes Oakland. And Oakland was able to move the ball a couple times, so they should feel good about that. No points, though. And they're going to break huddle here. Running formation for the offense. Carr in the shotgun. Lynch to his left. Hand up the gut to Lynch. And Lynch has space. First down and a little bit more. Out to the 39. So three rushes, 31 for Lynch. And Beast Mode's showing up in this matchup. And the blocking's just been outstanding so far. Hasn't had much trouble getting up the field before he gets hit by a meaningful attempt at a tackle. Carr showing run. And he will run it with Lynch. And Lynch gets about a yard on the carry. So that was his first bad run of the game so far. So three of the four times he's run it have been pretty good runs. I wouldn't expect him to abandon the run by any means. Under four to play in the first half. Carr comes out with a balanced set. He could run or pass here. And he runs it with Lynch. He spins up and down at the 43. So third and six coming up. And this will be the Raiders' fourth attempt. One for three so far. The snap will come with about three minutes left. Raiders. And Carr. Wow. It was a screen, but didn't like the screen, so he took it himself. Interesting. And Wilkerson just couldn't get there. Excellent job by Carr. He took some bad sacks earlier in this game, but seems he's at least learning. Two minutes and 19 seconds left on the clock as Carr comes out. He will throw. Carr nearly intercepted. I don't know what he was thinking there. So after the really excellent play by Carr to get that first down on third down, ends up throwing what should have been a pick six. But number 95 just dropped it. 
And if the Jets lose this game by seven points or less, that game that play might be the deciding play. Still early though, you never know. Carr. It's Lynch over the middle. It's a gain of three, they'll call it. Third and seven coming up. And that'll take us to the two minute warning. So Oakland has the ball. Best position that they've had all night. Tied game, 0-0. Zero, zero. All right, we're back. Tied at 0. Oakland facing a third and 7. And the way these defenses have been playing, a field goal would definitely be a victory here, especially as we inch toward halftime. If they can just get a couple of yards on this play, they can get into field goal range. We'll see if they can do just that. Carr throws. Incomplete over the head of his receiver. And so fourth and seven from the 42. It's decision time. Do you go for the field goal, or do you try and pin him deep with the punt? If you miss the field goal attempt, it'll definitely... Yes, they'll settle for the punt, which is the wise move. King boots it away toward the sideline. And it's a pretty good kick. It goes out at the 15. So no return on the play. And that's where the Jets will start their drive. The way these defenses have been playing, it's a real good chance we get to halftime at 0-0, which has not yet happened in Mad Madness across the 20 or so games that have been played so far. 25, I'd say. Closer. Closer to 25. Four wide for Petty. And Petty... It's Robbie Anderson, and so the Jets get their first first down of the game so far. And that one's good for 13, clock running. Minute 30 left. In the second, Jets break huddle. It's Petty. It's Powell with the diving catch. Minute left. Jets will take a timeout with 61 ticks left. Second and one coming up on the other side. All right, 61 seconds left in the first half. Jets are driving their best drive of the game so far. Second and one, we'll see if they take the shot. Four wide. Raiders showing blitz. Let's see if Petty picks up on it. He doesn't. He runs to his right, and he's taken down for a sack. And Jets are forced to take another timeout. So now it's third and six. Jets haven't converted a third down attempt so far in this game. We'll see how aggressive they are here. They kind of have to go for it at least because Oakland, if they try and run it and don't get it, Oakland can just take a timeout and they'll have probably close to 50 seconds left to get down the field and score a field goal. So Jets are in kind of a bind here. 
see what they try and do to get out of it. Third and six. So Aaron Jenkins, the tight end, will line up wide. Petty. Surveys. He's got time. Rolls to his left. And throws over his body to Powell. Who catches it. And that's a gain of four, but it's going to bring up fourth. Raiders take a timeout to stop the clock. You really aren't supposed to throw across your body here in the NFL because bad things can happen, but Jets get a completion, which is probably the second best thing that could have happened. The best, obviously, being that he runs for the first down. So that was probably the last time Petty will touch the ball here in the first half, barring a turnover by Oakland. Or a quick score, I guess. We can be optimistic here. Edwards punts. And the kick is away. Bounces. And it's going to be stopped right at the four. So Jets, their punt man's on it today. And that's the second time of this game that the Raiders will have to start inside their own five. So now the Jets get another shot at that safety that they missed out on. And here come the Raiders in the eye. Let's see if they're gutsy enough to call a pass here. They are not, and they give it to Lynch, who's swallowed up. And Jets won't force them to take a timeout. And after that, one yard gain. I think Oakland's just going to try and run this thing out. And the Jets aren't forcing them to run a play here. So we reach halftime. 0-0 zero, zero at half. First time in Madden Madness. And that's a very conservative call by New York to just let the Oakland Raiders go to halftime without having to run another play from the shadow of their own goal line. So, start of the third. Kick is away. Jets will receive first. Caught at the goal line by Natson. He runs it out. And goes down at the 26. And here comes Petty. Neither team's really found a way to break through, so it might be simply the fact that the first team that scores wins. Still a lot of game to be played though. Petty under center. Tomlinson in motion. And they hand it to Powell. And Powell almost breaks one, but he's tackled after a gain of about seven. Second and short coming up. And good job by Powell staying on his feet there. He got smacked from multiple angles at the same time. And if I'm the Jets, who have not converted a third down so far, I try to stay out of this third down situation. And they go for the pass with Petty. 
And Petty hits Safarian Jenkins, who has two touchdowns in Mad Madness. And an extra first down to add to the stat sheet. Gain of four. And good job by Jets, the Jets staying out of that third down as much as possible. And also giving Petty some confidence, letting him go and get it himself. Running formation for the offense. Jumbo package. And Petty's going to throw. He's got time. Rolls to his right. Steps up a little bit. Throws. And he's got Safarian Jenkins again. And Safarian Jenkins brings him in field goal range. So Safarian Jenkins coming in strong in the second half. And that play reminded me of the play that they had against the Dolphins at the end of that game. It was a play exactly like that, except for Safarian Jenkins was able to bring it to the house, and good job by him to hold on to the ball after taking a smack like that. Five minutes left in the third now. Jets are having their most productive drive of the game so far. Showing run. Petty fakes the handoff. He's going to throw again, and he's got time. Throws and hits his man, but his man drops it. Had it for a second. <laughs> and he runs into the stands. Just trying to hide from the world, I guess, after that drop. And the Jets know they missed something big there. So they've had a drop pick six and a drop ball near the goal line. Let's see if this mistake hurts them. As they get ready for a second and ten. So three wide. As Petty's in the backfield. He will throw. Petty. Nearly intercepted. That might have gone the distance as well. And the Jets survive that one and make it to third down. Quarterback just didn't see him coming. Number 27 just read the quarterback's eyes. Four and a half to play. Four wide. Likely pass here. And it is Petty. This is his man incomplete. And so three throws, three incompletions. Brings up fourth down, and the Jets will have to settle for this field goal attempt, which the way this game's going, they should be pretty excited about. <laughs> And the kick's away. Hackenberg holds. And the kick is nailed. Catanzaro hit it. Excellent job by number seven to get the Jets on the board. Wasn't an easy, wasn't one of the easiest kicks he's ever kicked, I'm sure. But it gets him in the lead. And now Oakland is going to have some extra pressure on them. They're two for five so far on third down. Let's see if they can improve that here as they await the kickoff. Kicks away. Caught in the end zone by Patterson, who elects to run it out past the 20. Stop just short of the 25 at the 24. And that's where Oakland's going to go to work. So Derek Carr walks onto the field for their first possession of the second half, and maybe they figured something out at halftime. We'll have to wait and see. If I'm Oakland, I'm going to hit Lynch some more because Lynch has been very productive so far. 
and I want to hit him in those early down and distances so you can get into short manageable situations three wide could be a run or a pass likely a run it's a pass car surveys he's got time bounces in the pocket he's got all day and he's got Crabtree and that's the biggest gain of the Raiders so far in this one all time in the pocket you give Carr that much time he's gonna find somebody eventually and Crabtree does an excellent job of diving for that catch so Jets get a field goal but just like that Oakland's in range or on the edge of being in range I should say four wide Carr rolls to his right steps as he's hit and he throws an interception Roberts 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown Jets. And that's one of those tip drills. Definitely paying off big for the Jets who dropped an interception earlier in this one. And that's Robert's second interception of Mad Madness. His first pick six. Kicks away. And Jets take a 10 0 lead with under three to play in the third. And after throwing that pick six with the way the Jets defense has been playing throughout Madden Madness, Del Rio's got to be a little bit worried now. He needs to get some production on this drive to make it a one-score game, whether it's a touchdown or a field goal. And that's got to be so frustrating. They have a chance to tie it, too, with that down in distance. But instead, pick six. And the kick sails out of the end zone. Ball will be placed at the 25 as Oakland gets another shot here. So after throwing that pick six, he hasn't had much time to calm down. We'll see if he was able to do just that. This is where the skill of the play caller comes in because you want to get some plays down the field, but you also want to get some plays that give him, give your quarterback some confidence after throwing that pick six. And the way Lynch has been running, I wouldn't be surprised to see a run here. Bunch set to Carr's left. Flag down, our first flag of the game. Comes with 3.23 left in the third. And it's a false start. And that's not how you want your first drive after a pick six to start. So the adversity starts to build on Oakland. Car to Lynch, and there's a flag down. Lynch has a lot of space. Lynch ultimately steps out, but I think it, this one might be coming back. And it's Gabe Jackson with the game killing and penalty. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, first and 25 now and after a first and 10 two penalties one of them 
after a first down or that knocks out a play that would be a first down is absolutely killer first and 25 now Lynch up the gut and Lynch only gets one maybe two on that run and Oakland's winning the time possession battle but they're down 10 points Second and 24 from their own 11 now. And this drive could decide, could set up the rest of the game, and depending on how it ends, Oakland could be in big trouble. It's Lynch, and two more yards, so the run game kind of dries up, as now the Raiders are in a huge hole, third and 22 from the shadow of their own goal line. And honestly, Oakland's been playing pretty good on defense. I don't know how aggressive you really want to be here. Two for five so far. This is their sixth attempt. Carr hits Richard, and Richard actually gets the first and a lot more. So Richard. The prayer's answered, and that brings them near midfield. That's a 36-yard gain on the pass. And just the Jets called the right defense for Oakland's play. Actually, the exact wrong defense. And that could have gone the distance had number 30 gotten past him. So it was looking pretty bad for the Raiders, but instead... Now they're at midfield, and they got all the time in the world. Four wide. Let's see if they try and throw again. Carr. It's Roberts. And Roberts has a first. And he's brought down, flagged down on the play. And the Jets might have just given him an extra 15. They did. It's Jamal Adams. So now Oakland has a chance to make this a three-point game. At the very least, a seven-point game. What a turn of events. It's crazy how in football just one play can decide whether this game turns into a blowout or a competitive affair. So after throwing the pick six... Let's see if Carr can finish here on the next drive. Lynch goes in motion. Carr's alone. Carr. He's got Crabtree, and Crabtree gets the first down. It's going to be first and goal from the five. So on a drive that started way back at their own 11, they find their, themselves at the opponent's five. Carr's going to break huddle now. First and goal from the five. All of the momentum on his side. Smith in motion. They run it with Lynch, and Lynch gets blown up in the backfield. Loss of two on the play. Second and goal upcoming on the other side of the quarter change. And Davis just slipped through and blocked. So we've reached the end of three. And it's a 10-point game, but that could be radically different depending on how these next couple of plays go. 10-zip, Jets. All right, we're back. It's a 10-point game, but probably not for much longer as Oakland is at second and goal now. Seven minutes left to play. Seven minutes, 
seven yard line. It's Carr, it's Lynch, and Lynch is in. Touchdown Raiders. That's his second touchdown of Mad Madness. And it's a four point game, extra point pending. An excellent play call by Jack Del Rio. It is a throwing situation, so you make them think you're throwing, so they, the linebackers step back, and then you give it to Lynch, who's able to just run through basically untouched for the six. And here's the all-important extra point. Kicks away, and it's good. Three-point game. So now the Jets, who have only scored three points on offense, are really feeling like they need something here after Oakland just stole the momentum after facing a third and 22 from their own 11. Matson takes a knee. Ball comes out to the 25, and that's where the Jets will go to work. And I said at the beginning, the Jets needed their offense to show up in this game. Otherwise, it could be bad news bears. And their defense has shown up, putting up seven points. Let's see if the Jets can match on offense. Jets start out in the eye. Petty fakes the handoff. Excellent fake. He's got time in the pocket. He's got all the time in the world. And he hits Thomas, who gets close to the first down. They're going to call it a second and one. That's his first catch of the game. So if Oakland can get a stop here, they all have a chance to snag the lead away from the Jets who started this quarter up 10 pitching a shutout in the eye is Petty and he'll fake the handoff again it's Powell over the middle so they convert the chains and fun fact the Jets have not converted a third down attempt so far in this game and Oakland's got to feel like if they can get him into that third down territory, there's no way they'll be able to convert that regularly for the rest of this drive. So they got to avoid giving up those long gains on first down. They got to force them into those second and ten, second and seven, second and eight kind of things. Five and a half to play. Petty under center. Petty will throw. And he's got Tomlinson, and Tomlinson has a first. And he's eventually brought down to the ground. Took two Raiders about three or four seconds to eventually knock him down. And good job by Tomlinson staying in bounds and knowing how far he had to go for the first. So five minutes left. Jets are marching. A touchdown would make things difficult for Oakland, but if they can hold them to three, as Petty's alone in the backfield, they'll be in business. And that's what they needed. And completion over the middle, second and ten now. And if Oakland can get a stop here, they'll be in really good shape. 
But it's second and ten now. They've still got two more plays where they can't give up really any yardage. Four wide. Petty will throw again. And he's got Jermaine Curse. The ex Seahawk. It's his first reception of the game. And that makes it a third and four. And the Jets, who have not been able to convert a third down so far in this game, need one here really, really badly. They've only ran three times with the ball, so that's not likely to happen. The game will land in Petty's lap. Four wide. It's Petty. And Petty's brought down for a sack. It's Morrow. Morrow, who has a, a pick six so far in Mad Madness, gets the crucial sack in this one. And so rather than getting that first down, the Jets, who are unable to convert on third yet again, will have to punt. So Raiders are in the driver's seat. Edwards boots it, and it's going to go out of bounds. No, it will not. It will actually land in the end zone for a touchback. The ball is breaking pretty far right, but somehow it stays in bounds. Hits the end zone, and so the ball comes out to the 20. And if the Raiders can pull out this victory... I know that touchdown happened with three seconds or three seconds into the fourth, but if they can make this thing into a W, that'd be the biggest fourth quarter comeback so far in Mad Madness. It's Carr. Incomplete. Jets drop another pick. And Jets have had some opportunities. They were perfect on their chances at picks. It could be a vastly different ball game. But instead, those drop picks are keeping Oakland in this thing. Three minutes left. This could be Oakland's final drive, depending on how things shake out. Second and ten now. Carr surveys. Steps up and just throws it away. So the Raiders, who are 3 for 6, are going to try and go for this thing. And try and make it 4 for 7, trying to go better than 50%. They converted a third and 22, so no distance is too far. It's Carr. He's getting blitzed. He's getting chased. And he just is lucky not to have that call to fumble as he's hit as he throws it. Incomplete. Fourth and ten. And so Jets defense steps up big. And Oakland will be forced to punt. They have three timeouts and the two-minute warning. So Oakland not out of this game by any means. King boots it. And excellent, excellent, excellent punt by number seven. So Jets, if they can afford or avoid taking a sack here or losing some big yardage, they should be in good shape to run the clock at least down to the two-minute warning. And the Jets come out in the eye to start off this drive. It's a running formation. Petty to Powell, and Powell's got space. Powell makes two people miss. Well, basically one makes one person miss, but it's enough for the first. 
And the Jets will be able to run it down to the two-minute warning, no problem. What a huge first down. So on the other side of the two-minute warning, the Raiders will be in time timeout mode. Oh, it seems the Jets do have to run a play before the two, if only by just a couple seconds. Petty to Powell, and Powell gets knocked down as the clock hits the two-minute warning. So Jets will be, or the Raiders will be able to save a timeout if they can get the stop here. All right, two minutes left. Raiders trying to make the 10-point comeback. And you got the feeling, as we're back now, that the Raiders... If they can just get the Jets to third down, they have a really good shot at getting this ball back for Carr right here, right now. Raiders showing blitz. Jets showing run. It's Powell, flag down as he's taken down right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a loss of half a yard. Let's see what the flag's about. Wow. It's Dakota Dozier. And second and 19 now for the Jets. Oakland has a really, really good shot now at getting this ball back. Second and 19. Jets might be tempted to throw it here, but that'll play right into Oakland's hands. So Jets are in a hole now. They need a huge run here on these next two plays. Petty to Powell. And Powell gets maybe two. Oakland takes a timeout. So third and 18 now for the Jets. All right, we're back, and Del Rio looks on. He's got to have some stress riding on him. As this third and 18 is about to happen. Oakland can get the ball back here, assuming nothing crazy happens. And they'll have one timeout to work with, and close to two minutes. But first, they need to stop. Jets are looking to run here, it appears. As they come out in the eye. And they hand it to Powell, and Powell's got space. Powell almost makes a man miss, but Oakland is clutch in the one on one tackle. And fourth and eight. Upcoming, Oakland takes a timeout, and they'll get the ball back. Alright, we're back. 10-7. Oakland's gonna get the ball back though. They can tie or force over they could force overtime or win this thing. Jets offense has been pretty rough so far in this one. Haven't given up many points on defense, but their offense has only scored three. Oakland's offense has scored seven. Edwards kicks it away. And it's caught near the 15 by Richard. He takes it up close to the 25. They'll say right at the 25. And that's where Oakland will begin its last drive. And that season that they had when they went 12, 12 and 4 a couple years ago seemed that basically every single game they were in this situation and they were able to pull out the win but here it's win or go home so we'll see how well they can work under the pressure Jets just need to stop here and they'll probably win the game Carlone in the backfield to start off 
Carr. Miscommunication there as his ball hits his receiver in the back. Excellently thrown, but just communication error. That sets up second and ten, but it also stops the clock. Oakland's in obvious four down territory here, so we'll see what they elect to do here. Four wide. Carr steps up, rolls to his right, throws on the run, and hits Lynch, and that was a bad decision as that causes the clock to run. And he had Mavenu to run it himself, but instead he dumps it off. So Carr, third and nine now. Steps up, he's got time, rolls to his left, and throws flag down. He hits Patterson, but I think he might have been over the line. He was, and it'll be fourth and 12. So right off the bat, the Raiders could be looking at a four and out. And if Carr could just keep his foot behind the line when he threw that, that'd be a first down and Oakland would be moving. But instead, sets up fourth and 12, and this is the game. All right, minute 13. Game in the balance. Can Carr convert? Carr. Surveys, throws deep toward the sideline. It's picked off by Roberts again, and that's his third pick of Mad Madness. Roberts takes it out of bounds. He's got two picks in this one, three in Mad Madness. And that might just do it. Fourth down, you might as well force it, right? You can't give up the sack. So he forces it, and it's picked off by Roberts. And Roberts might be the MVP of this game. He's got a pick six and a game ceiling interception, so. Petty comes on now, and they should just be able to kneel this thing out. And they will come out in victory form. Oakland takes a timeout, but it should not matter. They're just prolonging the inevitable. And so the Jets are going to move on to round four, where they'll play either the Browns or the Titans. And the Jets have kind of been a surprise have been a huge surprise too. Like how many how many people actually thought this is how the bracket was gonna go? Browns making it far, Jets making it far, Bucks making it far. When I say anything can happen, I mean anything can happen. One more kneel down, and the clock's rolling. So one more kneel, and then they'll have to stand out there in a punt formation or something like that. And the Jets will survive Oakland. And that should do it. Jets will win this one 10 to seven and they'll move on to round four. That's it. Del Rio and the Raiders will go home. Petty and Todd Bowles will move on. They'll win this one 10 to seven. And it was really Carr's game to win. And 
That's what happened. He lost. So there we have it. The Raiders will go home losing 10 to 7 to the Jets. What was well let, let us know was your prediction right? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to see the Jets in their next game, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to check the link in the description to see what the next game's going to be. And like the video if you enjoyed it and until next time. This is Phantom Roy saying adios.